makeup lovers how are you guys doing today so i am beyond excited for this video because i'm going to be testing out a new makeup brand or at least a new makeup brand for me because i am personally based in the united states so there are definitely a lot of international brands i have not tried unfortunately and i have recently been watching a lot of vloggers in the uk um and as much as i love listening to their accent the hard part is that they're tempting with certain products that are specifically made in or like available in the UK and the shipping charge is crazy um, so I have kind of been watching for Barry M Cosmetics for a little bit and I've kind of been seeing different products used and I definitely waited until I felt like I had a decent sized order before I wanted to go ahead and purchase anything because the shipping charges was about $20 I believe I will say it shipped so fast it was crazy I believe I ordered it late Saturday night and I got it Tuesday morning tell me that's not crazy going from literally I believe they're based in England all the way to Pennsylvania like that is that was very very fast shipping so even though it's expensive it is fast I will say that um, so I or ordered about 10 things or I think I have 11 to try out today and it is almost an entire full face the only thing that I'm missing is brow which I already did I don't have a blush which I could just skip blush it's like not even that big of a deal and I don't have mascara and I think that's pretty much it I do have some eyeshadow to test out I have liquid eyeshadow but I don't have any powder eyeshadow to lie down as a base or anything like that luckily I did come up with the perfect plan um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hasina 2 palette from blush tribe which is another UK based brand and I'm going to do a quick sped up tutorial before I jump into actually testing the very M cosmetics products and the tutorial that I'm going to be doing is not my own it's gonna be a recreation I will leave Paulina's picture here she did a three looks with one palette using the Hasina 2 from blush tribe and this specific look that I'm showing you guys I literally died I was like this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen I've I have been wanting to do this look since I got the palette but I wanted to create my own looks first so today I'm just I'm just going to be following along to her tutorial doing the steps that she does so I will have her video linked down below if you want like a full explanation and if you're not subscribed to her I definitely recommend going over and checking her out because she is really amazing I love her makeup style and this look blew me away so that's what I'm going to be doing today so let's just go ahead and jump on in Okay, you guys, so here is what the eyeshadow is looking like so far, and I really, really love how it's turning out. I think it is beautiful. Paulina, if you are watching this, seriously, you are such an artist. It took a while. There was a lot of detail work, like you said, but it is such a cool color combo so I'm actually gonna take something that Paulina did not use and this is the first product I'm going to be testing out from Barry M Cosmetics and this is the holograph holographic eyeshadow topper and I grabbed the shade supernova because it was the one that spoke to me most um, it kind of has like a green blue iridescence to it it's really pretty um, but it's definitely more on the sheer side so there's what that looks like it's really really beautiful and because it does kind of have like that green reflect I thought that this would be really really beautiful just popped on the center of the lid I don't know how much you guys are gonna be able to tell but it does have kind of like a really pretty glitter look to it 
so that is actually so beautiful i love what that just added to the look um i only grabbed one of each of the berry m liquid eyeshadows they had two different formulas so this is the first one that i grabbed like i said this is the holographic um eyeshadow and you guys know i'm obsessed with liquid eyeshadows i should definitely do another round um of like just a liquid eyeshadow battle and tell you guys all the new formulas i've been trying out and testing um, so that one is stunning. I'll show you guys the other one really quickly, even though I can't use it today, unfortunately. So this other one that I picked up from Barium Cosmetics is their Glitter Bomb Glitter Eyeshadow, and it is in the shade Girl Bye. Just looks like this, and it's like a pinky, um, almost has a little bit of a copper undertone. I've already swatched this, and I was pleasantly, not surprised, I was, I was happy with it, but you guys can see what it looks like. It's, um a little bit more pigmented than the holographic topper and it has like really pretty rose gold sparkles in it definitely reminds me of like the stila ones or the pixie ones i don't know if it's quite as glittery as stila but it is very very beautiful and i'm excited to try that one on my on my eyes hopefully soon but it swatches beautiful all right, so really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and just throw on a liner and some lashes, and I'll be right back, and we can do a ton of first impressions on the face. All right, guys, so I spent like a solid eight years applying those lashes. Um, I haven't aged a day, but I promise I was gotten that long. So before I jump in, I did want to mention really quickly for my face that I am going to be using a bunch of brushes, sponges, whatnot from Real Techniques. Um, I have the entire... Brush Crush Volume 2 collection pretty much. They did send these to me through Octoli. I was super grateful because it was something I really was interested in. Um, so I think I'm, I'm, I have a foundation to test today to try out. So I'm going to wear the foundation or I'm going to try the foundation with the Kabuki brush on one side and then on the other side I'm going to go in with one of these sponges which I have named Spaceballs even though they didn't name them because... I don't, I don't know why. I honestly have no excuses for their actions. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into primer. So I picked up the Unicorn Primer Drops Beauty Elixir. Just looks like this. I figured maybe this was supposed to be like a dupe for Farsali. Is that what it's called? And um, I just figured I would try these out because it seemed interesting. So it's like a pink liquid. Okay, that was not a lot of product. Okay, let's try again. Man, I swear these dropper things never work for me. It smells good. It smells like, um, is it like Tutti Frutti's cereal? If I can remember, I'll like leave a picture of the cereal box on screen. But it's very, very like fake sweet, but it doesn't smell like disgusting. So we're just going to go ahead and rub that in. Alright, so I'm very excited. I have the All Night Long Foundation um, and Concealer to test out, and both of these are in the shade Milk, which is the lightest shade that they offered. I can't remember for the concealer, but the foundation, they did have a white mixing shade, but I saw swatches of this, and it did look very light, um, so I'm hopeful that it is going to fit my skin. I don't really know... Okay, here it says... Um, and all night long foundation will have you covered until the early hours with its smooth, creamy formulation, which is easy to blend and feels lightweight on the skin with moisturizing vitamin E and antioxidizing fruit e extracts for a healthy look. That's yours. Ooh, and this foundation is vegan. So we're just going to go ahead and honestly, I'm scared to pump onto my normal hand that I pump foundation onto because there's sparkles everywhere. So I'm going to switch it up, even though I'm horrible at doing anything with my left hand okay it's a little bit liquidy but the shade looks nice honestly okay i'm gonna start off with the sponge you know when you buy foundation online that you've never seen in person you haven't seen really very many people at all review it um it's it's definitely a scary experience it smells good so I have to switch it up, and now I have foundation like running down my hand. But honestly, I can't do anything with my left hand. It's a tragedy. So that actually looks really nice so far. I only went in with like one pump of product, but it seems to be covering up my redness, not covering my freckles, but it looks very soft and like a very natural finish. 
wouldn't exactly describe it as full coverage and I'm going to use the kabuki brush I feel like overall, honestly, the foundation pretty much looks the same on both sides. I would definitely call it a media, no, a light to medium coverage. It's not, not super full coverage just from going in with two pumps. So I am going to go ahead and I'm just going to do one more pump with a sponge around my face. But I think you could go in with a brush or a sponge and be completely happy. Okay, I'm not a fan of the second layer. I think it looks a little bit cakey and it's kind of bunching up in weird places. So if you're using this foundation, I would recommend just going in with one, one layer all around. Now let's go ahead and try out this concealer. Um... It does have about half the amount of product as a Tarte Shape Tape, um, just to keep that in mind. But, I mean, this is more of a drugstore price if you don't have to pay for shipping. Ooh, oh gosh. That's really light. Okay, that's amazing because I have said so many times that it is so hard to find a drugstore concealer that's light enough for me. Like, I cannot just walk in the drugstore and find a light enough concealer it just doesn't happen so man you guys living in the UK with easy access to this product I'm jealous that is very light and I've heard a lot of people rave about this concealer as well like some pretty famous makeup artists so I'm excited about it I don't want to go in with too much product so I'll just start off there So there's how it's looking. I do like the concealer. I wouldn't say I'm in love. I'm really, really happy with the shade. Um, I feel like my dark circles are a little bit like really bad right now because I have not been sleeping a lot, like barely at all. I don't know how I'm functioning. Um, and when you have like a lot of purple or blue undertones in your eyeshadow, it can really bring out your under eye bags. So I think I would probably go in with like a peachy color corrector first. Um, if I was like doing this again today, if I got enough sleep, I think that this foundation or sorry concealer would be, um, I would like it more. But honestly, I mean, I I'm happy overall with my complexion. I actually think the foundation may have oxidized just a touch, but I'm not mad at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just set with the RCMA No Color Powder. All right, guys, so there is the finished eye look, and it is so, so pretty. I'm obsessed. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump it into bronzer. So I picked up the Afterglow Light Bronzer. just looks like this. And for some reason, I feel like I've seen people rave about this, but then I could not find it after I bought it. I was like, when I got it in the mail, I was like, dang, that's a lot warmer than I thought it was going to be. And it's, like, darker. Like, okay, if you can see, like, away from the light, I feel like it's it's darker than I thought it was going to be. So I went back and I tried to find like who did I like why did I buy this kind of thing and I could not remember for the life of me I could not find anyone talking about this bronzer that I thought had talked about it. Um, so we're just going to try it out here. I'm going to give it a little swatch. It's like a satin bronzer. Oh, that, that looks nice. That doesn't look bad. Here let me. Okay. Let's just try and blend it out. So it's definitely got a little bit of warmth in it. It's kind of satiny. I, I think it's going to be okay. We're, we're going to make this work. So I'm going to go into the Real Techniques 300 bronzer brush. Or the powder brush, but it's a bronzer brush to me. Oh gosh. Oh, I just literally barely swiped my brush in and it was like... Crazy. Okay. Oh yeah. That's like a very like red toned bronzer. Okay. 
you know what the fact that i didn't have um blush today that's fine like i'm gonna bring this up on my cheeks a little bit higher and use it and blend it out as blush because i think in the future i would not use this as bronzer i would use it as a blush i mean it's blending out okay i think i'm just a touch too fair for it so i'm just gonna go over with my sponge that i did my foundation with and just kind of tap that over the bronzer just a little bit yeah just to kind of just bring it back down a little bit it's very pigmented very orangey so now i've got some highlighter drops that i'm going to go in with i don't have any powder highlighter just a liquid one this is their liquid chrome highlighter drops just looks like this and it does look like it is a duochrome what shade is this this is precious pearl I swatched it on the back of my hand here and well it kind of just looks like it has like a pinky undertone looks pretty though all right i'm just gonna take a little touch of it just kind of dot it on areas of my face that i like to highlight I accidentally put like way too much product on my nose and it looks really cakey so I don't know I'm not like loving how this hi liquid highlighter is looking I feel like it m kind of lifted up some of the foundation and then just the foundation itself was a little bit cakey already so n not my favorite but I'm not writing it off I'm going to try it with other face products I could try it um, as a like liquid primer I could try it mixed in with the foundation I'm actually gonna go in with another highlighter just to I don't know just to make it more my style I'm just gonna grab the Ofra um, pillow talk highlighter because it's my favorite okay guys so my eyes just started watering really really bad and I don't know why I'm thinking maybe because I'm tired and when I'm tired and I add lashes on top it just makes me feel extra tired and like I'm like trying to look into my ring light and look into my camera but it just makes me cry I can't stop crying I've tried to film like the end of this video like five times now but my eyes are killing me so I'm like this little this airflow it's like keeping them dry is <laughs> ridiculous so if I'm not looking up as much that's why so I did grab a few lip products to talk about um, or to try and um, I grabbed two individual uh, lip liners and one is the shade Toast and the reason I grabbed this is because um, Alex Niven, um, she has a YouTube channel, I can link her down below. She is a makeup artist in the UK and she talked about this and said she really likes it and that it's a really cheap um, dupe for MAC Strip Down and I've never used MAC Strip Down but I was like, hey, I... I'll take it so I wanted to grab this shade toast and I don't know if you guys can tell it's just like a nude shade let me just try and do a little swatch on this hand away from the glitter so there is toast and then on just like a whim I picked out another shade and this is blush I just figured you know if it if it was a product she recommended I may as well try more than one shade so here is blush. I'm like swatching these really funny on the side, but it's, oh, I like that one. It's kind of like a, like, just a little bit more of a pinky, but still neutral nude lip liner shade. And then the last lip product that I grabbed is their Gloss Me Up Lip Kit. And this has a glossy lip lacquer and a lip liner. And this was like, I think it was like three pounds or something like that and also real quick tip if you do shop on their website I was on there I saw the price I was like okay can't do it so I like looked online I was trying to find promo codes I was trying to find anything to lower the price so that I could justify it and when I went back to their website everything was like reduced by like 10% I didn't add anything I think I just waited just waited a certain amount of time and that was like their like hook like buy this because it's reduced and they show like the original price the reduced price and so if you wait, if you want to make a purchase online, I recommend waiting a few minutes just so that you can get that. Ho hopefully it happens all the time. 
So I picked this up because it was like three dollars or th sorry three pounds so maybe like roughly estimating maybe like five dollars plus then I got the discount so maybe like four dollars I don't know I'm just this is all guesstimation right now I'm not I'm not looking anything up so this looks a lot more pink than I thought it was going to be online it looked more like a neutral pink and I probably should have looked up if there were swatches or anything so this is the lip liner that came in the kit that looks really nice though like for a pink shade I mean, I don't really wear bright pinks very often ever, but it is called Baby. And then the lip gloss is also called Baby. And here, we'll just watch that real quick. Here is the lip gloss. So it's kind of like a lighter pink shade. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the blush lip liner and then go in with the gloss. And I did prep my lips today before I started filming with the Clarity Cosmetics Lip Serum. Yes, I did it all for love. So I actually really do like that color. And it's applying really evenly and smooth and easy. I just kind of kind of bring it into the lips a little bit so when I put the gloss on it doesn't look funny. The gloss has a very fruity scent to it. But I can't quite place what it is. It does smell pretty strong. So I do like the gloss. I feel like it's very comfortable. It's like very much a super glossy lip. It's more of a thin formula. I think it's really pretty. It's not my favorite shade. Like I said, it's got a little bit more of a pink tone to it. Um, I don't really like pinks on me. But... I do like the formula you guys so this is the finished look and I really really love how it turned out I think that my favorite products that I tried today would definitely be the holographic um, eyeshadow topper I think it is really really beautiful just as a nice little pop um, of glitter and it's just really pretty I feel like it added just a little something extra to the look not that the look needed anything extra but um, it is a nice eyeshadow um, liquid eyeshadow um, I really liked the smell of the primer. I'm definitely going to keep using that and trying it out. I liked the concealer a lot. I really liked the shade. Um, I was happy with that and I'm happy with the overall coverage, even though, like I said, in the future probably would use a corrector. And then I also really liked the lip liners. So pretty, pretty happy about the final look. And I will use the foundation again in the future and keep you guys updated. Um, the bronzer I will use as a blush in the future. And the highlighter I'm going to kind of test out and use it different ways so I will try and have an update for you guys hopefully in the next month or so um, if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one bye